Speaking of college, a recent report found most students in the state are not ready when they graduate from high school. In fact, based on ACT scores, the number of high schoolers prepared for college is fewer than 20 percent. Well, Tennessee has been chosen for a new program that will hopefully change that. News Channel 5's Rodney Dunnigan found out it's expected to raise the state's academic standards. We're preparing students for a career, whether it be after high school, after technical school, college. Allison MacArthur knows all too well the importance of getting kids geared up for life after high school. We want every student to be career and college ready. Select lab 142. As the site coach for the Career Academy at Glencliff High, she helps direct kids toward the work field of their choice. Students involved in the program can gain knowledge in everything from business management Everybody doing manicures today? to cosmetology. It's an effort to get kids focused on their future. definitely gives them relevance. Uh, they understand why math is important, why English is important. These are the things that some of the employers find wanting in students that are coming to apply for jobs. Bruce Opie, assistant commissioner with the Tennessee Department of Education, says programs like the one at Glencliff help students gain needed skills. Things like getting to work on time or getting to class on time, attendance, working in groups. Opie is leading a team selected to participate in a very unique research project, the Career Ready Policy Institute. Only eight states were chosen, Tennessee being one. Administrators will research and gather information for about the next two years. They'll take that info and create programs geared towards improving the productivity of students. The idea? is simple, to prepare kids for future success. The goal is, at the end of the day, what everybody in the department's doing, what everybody in a local school system is doing, what everybody in a high school is doing, to make sure students are ready for either the workplace or college-ready work. Rodney Dunnigan, News Channel 5 HD. State education leaders also hope to discover what is not working within school districts across the state. They plan to eliminate any useless programs that simply aren't helping students.